You wanted to see us, Mr. Hightower? Mr. Hightower, if this was about oiling up the parallel balls in gym, that was funny. When that girl went flying, you laughed. Well, I'm not laughing anymore, boys. I just called you two in here to give you back a few things that I've confiscated from you over the years. Sweet. Is my silly putty in there, Mr. Hightower? Yeah. Hold up. Are you giving us our stuff back, Mr. Hightower? Are you dying? Wait a minute. Are we dying? Nobody's dying, boys. Miss Greer went over my evaluation. And it was so bad, she fired me. She gave me a 48-hour notice. What? You got fired, Mr. Hightower? We didn't know those evaluations were that important. Yeah, well, it cost me my job and my pension. But don't worry about me, boys. A buddy of mine hooked me up with a job down at Walmart. <clears throat> yeah, they put me in the CD department. That way, uh, kind of keeps me in the music business. You know something? I, uh, I never told you boys this, but, uh, <clears throat> you two guys, you two guys are my favorite students. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, Miss, Miss Hightower, are you gonna be okay? No, 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 no just go. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hey, I was just sitting in my class for the last time. Mr. Hightower, we're not gonna sit by and watch you get fired. We're starting a petition. I'm gonna have all my chicken heads and want to be my chicken heads sign it. That's over 100 names right there. And we have a picture with you, with a bunch of kids, and President Clinton. I never met President Clinton. Well, actually, it's uh, the President and Jesse Jackson. We just, uh, Cut his head off and put yours in there. Yeah. Once the school board sees this, you're gonna get your job back and a raise. Nice try, boys. Those evaluations cost me my job. And I started Walmart on Monday. Already got my smock and my name tag. Mr. Hightower, I think there's something that we should tell you. Mr. Hightower, we're the ones who got you fired. We stole the real evaluation forms and wrote fake ones. Sorry. Yeah, we made up a bunch of lies because we were mad at you for, for putting us on probation. Can you forgive us, Mr. Hightower? <laughs> you two are so ridiculous. <laughs> you know something? I've known it's been you two all along. <laughs> you wanna know something else? I'm not getting fired either. <laughs> no, I was just toying with your feeble little man. You mean you tricked us, Mr. Hightower? Yes, I tricked you. I tricked you to teach you a lesson, and, well, I need a couple funny stories to tell while I was down at the barber shop. Well, guess we had it coming. Sorry, Mr. Hightower. No, no, no. Forget your apologizing. Just do me a favor, boys. Pick your grades up and graduate, okay? Look, I put you two on probation because I happen to care about you. And I don't want to have to look at your mugs again next year. Okay. You're right. Hugs. Boy, I don't think he's in a hugging mood. 